Hi, I'm Nicole, and I'm a part of Seago, which is a part of LSU, and today we're going to be doing an activity called How Do Fish Breathe? The goal of this project is to understand how fish breathe underwater. So this is the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a glass jar. You're going to need a coffee filter. You're going to need a rubber band. About a cup of water. And then you're going to need about two tablespoons of ground coffee. So you're going to take your smaller glass jar. I'm going to open the lid. You're going to add about two tablespoons of the ground coffee to the smaller cup. This is so we can mix it up with the water. The coffee mixture we're about to make is like water in the ocean. It has things like oxygen and other important nutrients. To make the mixture, add about a quarter cup of water to the coffee grounds. I'm going to use a spoon or you could just shake up the cup a little bit. So you want to make sure that the coffee grounds and water are well mixed because then we're going to filter it. Then we're going to take our larger glass. We're going to take the coffee filter. You're going to put it on top. And then what you're going to want to do, you might want to have someone help you with this, is you're going to take the rubber band takes me a couple tries to get it, but you're going to take the rubber band, you're going to make sure that the coffee filter is tied to the top of the glass. The coffee filter acts like the gills on a fish. We'll talk about later how this works. So we want to make sure that the filter is tied tightly around the top of the glass, just like this. And the filter wants to be slightly dipped in, that way it can collect everything that we're going to filter through it. So we're going to take our original mixture of coffee grounds and water and we're going to slowly pour it through the top of the glass. So as you pour the coffee grounds and water mixture slowly into the top of the jar over the coffee filter, I want you to watch the water filter through the coffee filter. So take a minute and write what you observe, what is in the jar and what's being left behind on the filter. The jar here is supposed to represent the fish while the coffee filter represents the gills of the fish and the mixture represents our ocean water. So now I'm going to fast forward and you're going to see a time lapse of filtering and I want you to write anything down that you may see. So after filtering most of the mixture, we see that the coffee grounds is left behind in the coffee filter and that most of the water has passed through into the bottom of the jar. This is very similar to how the gills of a fish work. Fish are like us in which they need oxygen to survive, but fish have gills instead of lungs, so they can't take oxygen from there like we do. Instead, they get their oxygen from the surrounding water. But you may wonder, how does that happen? Water goes in through the mouth of the fish and out its gills. Gills themselves are made of very thin tissue that act like a filter to remove oxygen and release carbon dioxide. As the water moves through the fish's gills, the gills pull oxygen out of the water and distributes it into the blood and throughout the fish's circulatory system. This is how fish are able to breathe underwater because their gills are an extremely important tool to perform respiration.